welcome to Duke's RV. That's right, I'm Duke, your video host. Today we're at RV Station in Katy, Texas. We're looking at the Lance 2465. This is a nice travel trailer and I am excited to show it to you. So let's go ahead and take a look. It's got the European style dual pane windows. They provide good insulation and a nice breeze on the inside. This one has the optional slide toppers. I'm going to go over the build sheet at the end of the video and we'll look at all the standard and optional features on this rig. Let's take a look in this storage compartment. I think it's a storage compartment. We're getting ready to find out. Yes, it is. You can put some camp chairs in there, fishing poles, a lot of space in there. Hey, thanks for tagging along today. I'm having a good time looking at this Lance Travel Trailer. It's one of my favorite brands. This one has a, I think it's a two inch receiver hitch back there. You can put a tray or bike rack, come standard or, I don't know if standard or optional, but there is a rear camera. There's a ladder to get up on the walkable roof. All right, this is where you'll be hanging out when you're relaxing at the campground. That is for 12 volt and USB. There is a outdoor hot and cold shower. It's got a mount for the outdoor JBL Bluetooth speaker. There's some storage over here on this side also. This is the 2465. It's got the Four Seasons package. This one is really well insulated. Those steps make contact with the ground and they fold up underneath the door so they're not going to get dirt inside your rig. This awning is uh, wind sensitive and it's armless so you're not going to hit your head on it. It's a nice awning. Got a big grab handle there. Check out the sofa when you walk in the door. That is a comfortable looking place to land. All these windows, it's nice and open in here. The dinette is made into a bed right now. It's got an electric fireplace. There's a JBL sound system. It's got a subwoofer. We'll take a look at that in a second. There is the smart TV, swings out on an arm. This refrigerator will run on propane or electric. So this is a boondocking machine. It's got solar up on the roof. It's got a solar charge controller, an inverter. I'll go over the specs in a little bit, but this is a boondocking machine. If you're camping in cool weather and don't need the AC, you won't even need to be plugged in. There is some storage under the sink. They've got it partitioned off nicely there. It is comfortable in here. You see that skylight. We've got these overhead airline style baggage compartment doors. There's a microwave oven in that one. And check out these uh, hinges. Those are nice. Go to a hardware store and buy something like that. It's going to cost a few bucks. All right, if you like using an oven at the campground, this has a good size oven. It's a Suburban, so it's got a three burner cooktop. So this is a, uh, it's a Stonecast Ameristone sink, if you were wondering about that. And then it has that uh, commercial looking fixture for the faucet. That's nice. And check this out. There is a compartment for a trash can. You can just push food right in there and then take that out it's right by the door it'll be convenient to take it out and throw it in the dumpster at the campground or you can just replace the bags it's a nice rig now this sofa makes into a bed it's a good sized bed, but it's really comfortable in here. You have that screen door closed, and then you could put the screens down. So all the windows have that same screen and blackout shape. So it's got USB 110 and 12 volt right there. So you can charge up your items, plug things in. Let's take a look at the bathroom. So they have the same uh, screens and shades throughout the coach. So you can enjoy the outdoors in this one. There's some storage under the sink. It's got a laundry hamper for your unmentionables. Those, that's a very popular feature in Canada. There's some drawers for all your bathroom items. There's three drawers like that. It's got that same Ameristone sink. Let's take a look. So it's a split bath. It's got the toilet 
and shower in a separate room, which is nice. There's a good sized footprint in the shower, plenty of headroom, nice medicine cabinet. This one does have a exhaust fan there in the bathroom also. There's a nice hook you can hang a towel on. Well, there's a nice breeze coming through here. Look at all the windows. It really opens it up. So you got to slide on the bedroom. So the bed goes east to west, and you got plenty of room to walk around the bed. If you're going to be doing a little bit of extended stay camping, this might be perfect for you. Yeah, with all the light colors, all the windows, the bedroom slide, this is just a very comfortable room. It's got a Televator TV. You can put it down or raise it up, whatever you want to do. It's got more of that airline style overhead baggage compartment doors with accent lights in there. Got two wardrobes, one above and below. So you'll find out the pecking order right there. Hey, I want to send a shout out to Craig and Shane at RV Station and everybody over here. Everybody's been really nice, very hospitable. This looks, seems like an easy place to do business. Low pressure environment and they made me feel very welcome. So thanks a lot, everybody. And now we're gonna take a look at the build sheet and look at all the standard equipment and what's optional. All right, so you see it's the model number 2465 and the interior color is bronzite, 29, feet 5 inches long, 10 feet 7 inches tall. You see the capacities there for your fresh gray and black tanks. 7,051 pounds is the dry weight. Gross vehicle weight 8,900 pounds. So here's a listing of the standard equipment. So you can freeze your screen if you want to take a closer look. I got a little bit of a glare, but it says it has aluminum frame, CNC, laminated floors, ceilings, walls. It's got a crowned roof and dual Asdell walls. That's double thick Asdell. You're not going to find that in very many travel trailers. This is built differently than most other travel trailers. You're going to have to come out and check it out yourself. It's got a ducted AC system that's real quiet, that blade AC. I showed you the JBL sound system. I don't know if I showed you the subwoofer. It's got a subwoofer. Great camera work here, Duke. You can just freeze your screen if you want to take a closer look at any of this. All right, here is the optional equipment. It's got a second solar panel, uh, the slide out. It's got slide toppers on it, battery monitor. It's got a 1500 watt uh, inverter. It's a pure sine wave inverter. And then it had a 30 amp MPPT solar charge controller. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button.